Alright guys, for this last uh, little bit of interior lighting um, setup, we're going to get and be a little more specific with our lights. I'm going to turn my displacement back on, turn back on my override material. Um, and if I just kind of render this out, again, it's just to kind of quickly get an image out of this here. So once the geometry gets compiled and the light calculations are done, This puppy goes pretty quick and it's done in like 10 seconds here. So this just kind of gives you an idea of uh, where we left off with our basic um, basic settings. So if we go into the front view, what I want to do is add a V-Ray IES light. Um, I'm going to turn on my ortho snap, uh, which it looks like it got uh, turned off here on me. So what I want to do is Uh, my snaps. So actually, I gotta add this here real quick, guys. Uh, toolbar, uh, ortho snapping mode. I'm gonna add this up here on my toolbar and just save this. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna come under my create panel. Uh, make sure I'm on V-Ray. Um, under my drop down, select V-Ray IES, and then I'm going to click and drag to create my light. Now the reason why I turned that on, if I click and drag, you can see it, it basically locks, in, locks into my um, four different angles here, at, all at 90 degrees. Uh, so that's why I turned on that ortho snapping mode. So I'm going to turn that off here. Um, so once I have my light in here, what I can do is then uh, hit escape, select my light, go into my top view, and I'm just going to select this guy and move this over uh, over to here right along my refrigerator so if I go into perspective and kind of see what's going on here it's, that's where my light is now what I need to do is I need to select um, basically a lighting profile for this guy and what I, what I have been using is a program, program called IES Viewer you can find it online very easily um, and download it uh, so that you can view your IES lighting files um, and then I have lighting files from Lithonia which uh, again you can kind of get um, from Lithonia and download the whole package from them uh, for free so if, if I look here at my lighting profile uh, I can even hit the render button here and just kind of see what's going on and then to quickly see these things I can pick the lighting profile and just hit down on my keyboard and kind of go through uh, the different things. So once I find the profile I want, uh, which is here 890-104-03, I basically just write that down on a piece of paper. Um, you know, and, and you know, even in this program, I can kind of do the brightness. So it's like if it's a super bright light, um, or or you know, do the distance away from the wall. So the further away from the wall I get, or the closer to the wall I get, those are kind of the basic effects of how the light is going to look. So what I can do is basically come in here, select my light, come over to the modify panel, come down to where it says none here. I'm going to select on that. Um, I want to come into my lighting to that same folder and come to 890.104.03, hit open. And you can see that instantly changed the shape here on the screen because I have use light shape selected. Um, I'm going to keep it at eight subdivides. I'm going to keep, you know, all these other values basically at default. Um, cutoff is like the extents to which it's affecting the scene. Um, you know, if you want it to affect less objects, I think you turn the number up. Um, and it, you know, obviously, if you want it to affect more things in your scene, you you leave that number lower, and you can see the default is point zero zero one. So I'm just going to leave that at the default. Leave all that stuff alone. I'm going to hit C for my camera. Um, go ahead and render this guy out here real quick. And typically the only thing that I'm adjusting with these types of lights is I'll go into and adjust the uh, power setting down here at the bottom. Because you can see right now the power setting is set to 900 and I don't even see anything along that wall. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a zero to this guy, hit render again, and see if we can't get that to show up here. Now, you know, of course, if 
if I did have, you know, I'd have to model in some light or something or some cam fixture cut into my ceiling. Um, right now I just kind of have that light out there floating in space. But you can see it's it's now kind of starting to appear on that wall over there. And if I want it to be close to that wall, I could go into my top view, hit Z for zoom, F3 so I can see the light. And what I would do is I would move it closer to the wall. Or, you know, I guess I could, I'll leave one away from the wall here. I'll make an instance of it, and I'll leave one close to the wall. Hit C for camera. Hit render, just so you guys can see the two different effects here of that light. You can even see along the bottom here, there is some some uh, lighting that's also done. So it's not just, you know, for accenting your wall and kind of having that light profile there, but it's also the lower portion of the wall. And you can see when you get closer to the wall, you know, again, it's going to change. And, and all of that is you can kind of preview in that IES viewer um, if you download it online. Again, the name of the program uh, is just called IES Viewer. And I don't know if there's an about panel here. This is IES Viewer version 2.99. Um, so if you just search for that online, you should be able to find a free copy of it. And that really wraps it up. Um, again, I could kind of swap out the profile if I want to, uh, you know, do whatever I need to. Yeah, I could even come in here um, if this is a larger light and scale this up, uh, you know, so it's a little bit, a little bit bigger if I, I need it to be like that. Um, or, you know, maybe it's too close to my wall or maybe this one isn't close enough or or maybe my target needs to change this way like that and this guy needs to come close to the wall, something like that. So, you know, you can do all your basic modifications that you need to do with the light. Um, but it's a really powerful tool if you're looking for specific types of lighting and um, you want to make sure the lighting is accurate in your space um, in terms of the different lighting profiles that you're selecting. So it's, it's a very quick, easy way um, to kind of drop lights in here and have them affect your space and uh, illuminate your interior space and have it be accurate and true to what's going on in terms of the, the lights that you want to be in here, whether it's some fluorescent light or some down light or some uh, wall washing light. Uh, so that's basically it. Thanks, guys.